Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Trudgy's Motorcycling Experiences. I am Trudgy, and today I kind of wanted to go over mounting the uh, chin mounts GoPro mount to my Shoei Neotech 2 helmet. Um, I'm, I'm going to be honest, I've been out on the bike a few times and I haven't done any kind of vlog only because I am still learning guys and I don't want to be learning how to ride the bike and wanting to worry about talking and stuff like that. So I've gone out a couple times, I've driven to work and back and gone around uh, just side roads and stuff just to try and get used to the bike. So I'd like to uh, get the mount on there and maybe do a little bit of uh, initial going around the neighborhood and, and seeing how <laughs> the microphone works. Um, I got this microphone from uh, Amazon. It's called the Hama mic and um, it's stupid cheap and it's kind of a crappy quality mic. It's very low gain, but that's what makes it great for in the helmet. Um, literally your mouth has to be like right on it to be able to pick up some uh, decent audio. Um, so it works really well in a helmet and uh yeah i just i just found it from uh researching different uh people setups and stuff so it doesn't have that really loud the really popping noises the wind noises because it is such a low powered um you know lower quality microphone and it, it's cheap so um i got that i think it came from the uk actually and it was still very very uh inexpensive i think less than 30 bucks so yeah we got that to uh, put in there and then i got a little extension cable here um, off Amazon to uh, bring the microphone right up to the GoPro with the media mod um, attached. And the beauty of what the media mod is, you can just plug the uh, cable right into it instead of having that adapter um, to change it, which is uh, a pain in the butt too. So that should work out really well. Um, I got my, uh, my hair dry here, thanks to my amazing hairstylist, Stephanie, to kind of heat up the uh, 3M adhesive before it mounts and it actually just um, sits right there perfectly um, it's actually specifically meant for this helmet and again this is the Shoei Neotech 2 so this was the full face helmet I bought when uh, I was looking um, it's got some nice vents up on the top it's got a vent here of course it's Shoei it's very high quality the shield and whatnot is very high quality and it has an internal um, shield there for the sun which is great I used that a lot on my training it was really helpful um, so yeah really a high high quality helmet here and this is actually kind of a three-in-one you actually can lift it right up here so you know when you're at a gas station or need to take a breather you can lift that right up which is really useful um, and yeah it's just a matte black um, kind of nice stealthy helmet so yeah this mount is from chin mounts and basically they're, they're 3d printed and the guy that runs this site you know brilliant he's he's 3d uh printed these specifically for the helmet so when you order one you got to order specifically with the helmet and then i ordered um a pack of different accessories so just has a bunch of different like gopro accessories there and of course i dropped that one um just so you can get different angles you know on your gopro um you know higher and lower and stuff like that until we figure out exactly how we want to uh you know set it up on the helmet itself but yeah, so let's uh, let's get into it. I'll uh, reset up the camera here, and we will mount this guy to the helmet so we can get to one step closer to vlogging. Okay, guys, here we go. Okay, guys, so we got the uh, helmet set up here, and the mount is gonna fit right into here. And I don't know if you can see that good on there, but it kind of fits right into the grooves of the helmet, which is the great thing about these uh, chin mount branded um, mounts right here is they're specifically molded to the helmet you can see the bend on it where the the generic ones kind of want you to stick it on the side or a, or a flat surface so this is definitely going to work a lot better um, to get it on there so let's uh let's clean off the area and they have an alcohol pad included here get that open and we'll just wipe down this whole area make sure it is free and I, I I've seen people have these on for for years and I think it just mostly comes down to the actual mounting of it and making sure that it is all clean and done properly so we'll just let that dry for a second 
And then what you gotta do is we're gonna take off this uh, 3M tape, very high quality VHB 3M uh, adhesive, and then we're gonna heat it up just so it's warm. And then we're gonna apply it on there and hold it uh, for a little bit. And then it needs to cure for about uh, 24 hours, I say, before you actually mount anything to it. Just let it sit there and let it cure up. So we're gonna wait for this to uh, dry. It probably has uh, another minute or two and then we'll get to the mounting. All right, so we are all dry. I'm gonna fire up the blow dryer here. Get some good heat going. And I'm gonna remove the adhesive backing. Very sticky stuff, guys. There we go. Should be good and then we're gonna mount make sure it's all nice and centered up here and we're gonna push it on and we're just gonna give some really good pressure to it and leave it on there for a little bit good even pressure pretty good yeah, I think we nailed it on the uh, exact location there it lines up right with the open arrow down Okay, let's take a look. So try and push this side down a little bit. A little bit of heat on the side maybe. Okay, perfect. All right, well, we're gonna let that set up for 24 hours and then uh, we'll mount the GoPro to it and we'll see what happens. All right, guys, we will see you in 24 hours. Okay, what's up everybody? Welcome back. Now, it's been a little bit longer than 24 hours. Um, it, it might be about a week or so. Um, since I actually mounted that uh, chin mount onto my Shoei Neotech 2 helmet, um, I did get the rest of the uh, things run. So I have a microphone here ran inside and then I have a 3.5 millimeter extension cable that's ran to the microphone that will now plug into the back of the media mod. Um, so it'll kind of just be sitting here like this on the media mod of the GoPro. And I did actually go for a ride with it all hooked up. It was kind of like my first um, big ride, about 120 kilometers. I did that on uh, this past Sunday. And 
Um, the GoPro stayed exactly where it was supposed to stay, had a nice view, um, but I was getting some pops and crackles from the microphone. And I had that when I was testing out uh, Shure mic as well. And so I'm thinking it's the media mod that's causing that, but I got a ticket open with GoPro right now to uh, try to figure that out and see why that's giving me those pops. So that whole video that I, I did at my first ride, not sure what will be usable of it. I might just have to overlay some uh, other music to it and uh, maybe put my voice over top of uh, some certain areas that were really bad. Um, but yeah, we got it all hooked up. The microphone did pick up my voice fairly well. Um, that Hama mic from Amazon, which is a super cheap microphone, um, did its job and you have to be really close and it, it did a pretty good job. So um, anyway, that's that's where we're at with that. Just wanted to get this video done so we can post it up. The chin mount is rock solid on there. So, you know, great quality um, from that unit. Highly recommend that. And yeah, I kept checking my GoPro and my, uh, my side mirrors to make sure it was still on there and still pointing in the right direction and it stayed nice and solid on there. So great stuff. And um, hopefully I can get that video up to you very shortly of my first kind of big ride. Like I said, about 120 kilometers, um, just kind of north of London area. And uh, yeah, we'll get some more riding in maybe this weekend and uh, hopefully we got those pops and crackles figured out. Okay, so that's it for this one, guys. I just wanted to wrap up the chin mount uh, video so we can get that on. I appreciate you subscribe, like, and uh, let's get this channel growing. Thanks so much, guys.